So it's been a while since I've posted this series, and to recap, well, we're facing up against the Clippers in the third round of this uh, of this playoff series. Now, the Clippers, they took game number one, pretty convincing win right there, as Blake Griffin talks to Doris Berg. But you know, the Clippers, man, I mean, these guys, these guys are tough. And in game two, well, D'Angelo did all he could, but yeah, they they took a 20-point win. So. We Lakers, we're down 2-0 in a pretty tough playoff series. So let's see what we can do in the next two games in this episode. So we start game three, 0 0 obviously, and Jabari Parker kicks it to Kobe, and he looks like throwback Kobe right there. He looks like Froby right there. I mean, that was a nice play by Kobe Bryant. But this man, DeAndre John, he dunks it twice to start out this game, and the Clippers look good as Blake Griffin hits that mid range shot. Down 10 to 4. This man, Boogie, we need him to start stepping up in this series. Like, he's been playing very well, but. We need him to start dominating as he gets a block right there. Plays some great defense on Blake Griffin. Randall checks in the game and he starts off this game really well. He gets an up and under to go, getting two defenders to fall to the ground. Well, one of them fell. The other one got a bit on the pump fake. Randall gets the rebound, kicks it up to JR Swish. Buckets. JR Swish, man. He is an av... Did you see that like, voice crack right there? Um, but JR Smith, man, he is... He's crazy. He's such a good player in this. Randall hits the mid-range shot. And we're only down by two points. 37 seconds left. Five-point lead to the Clippers. We get a steal right there with J.R. Smith. And Clarkson slams it down. Jordan Clarkson with the slam. I really got to get a... I really got to get like a lolly for my throat. As J.R. How did... The, Jameer Nelson, how did he get that shot off? But uh, we actually skipped to the fourth quarter right here. The Lakers? Yeah, we're not doing too well right now. We get Oubre in the gang, kicks it to a Sun White side, and that's a turnover on us. So, the Lakers have a chance. Well, it's not really a chance. It's most likely that they're going to be down 3-0 in this series. And, to be honest, we kind of deserve to be down 3-0. The way that we're playing has not been great, and the Clippers team is really, really good. Unless a miracle happens and we start winning. Um, yeah, look at Black Griffin, I mean... You know, he knows that they probably won this game. He's shaking the head. And when I saw that, I was like, nah. Nah, brah. We're going to have to start playing better. So with with the rookie, D'Angelo Russell going all the way, getting the lap to go and the foul, it's, it's a comeback. We need a spark of comeback right there. So he gets the and one play, and we need him to make this free throw to make it a seven-point game. So Russell at the free throw line gets it to go. And there has been rumors in real life about the Lakers trying to trade away their, their backcourt of Russell and Clarkson. I was like, really though? I mean, don't you guys want these guys to be part of your team for the next couple years? But, I mean, they're trying to get Boogie Cousins. And, I mean, why wouldn't you? He gets that pullback slam to go right there. We get a nice deal with Hassan Whiteside. And if we get, a, you know, if we get buckets on this possession and we miss... And Russell misses the putback slam, man. He was so close. I was like, no way, no way. <gasps> oh, how are you going to miss that? And then the Clippers show, they show me how to do it with the Blake Griffin alley-oop right there. It could have been like a five-point game, and now it's a nine-point game. So, uh, yeah, we get a nice lab to go right there with Russell. We just have to make sure we can play some defense as I get a huge block with Hassan Whiteside, which finally leads to a fast break opportunity. And then we have Kelly Oubre giving it off to Dean, uh, giving it off to Russell, who gets the layup to go right there. So it's a five-point game. One minute, 50 seconds left. Blake Griffin kicking it out to CP3, and he gets a three-point shot to go. Eight-point game. One minute, 40 left in this game. Russell giving it to... Boogie Cousins as he slams it home right there. It's it's a tough, it's a tough game. It's only four points now though. 53 seconds left. 
and we foul with, right there with Julius Randle who gets fouled out of this game. So Crawford drives in, mid-range shot. It's off. We need this rebound. We get a rebound with DeMarcus Cousins. J.R. Smith kicks it up and Russell gets fouled on the layup right there. So with a chance to make it only a four-point game, we need to hit these two free throws. And we do. 43 seconds left in this game. We need to play some good defense. Unfortunately, I had to speed it up right here, but we ended up failing Chris Paul, which I didn't even mean to do. Chris Paul makes his first three throw and the second free throw. So it's a six point game, 37 seconds left in this game. We need a clutch three right here. I go to the corner, Russell, he get, I don't even know, man. That was just a crazy three. I was like, why not let it fly? As Chris Smooth would say, and he got that three to go. So now it's a three-point game, 28 seconds left. They feed Blake Griffin back out to CP3. He's just dribbling it out. I mean, the, the clock needs to just wind down because the Clippers, they need to get this win. We get a clutch block right there. Another clutch block right there. They feed it out to Jamal Crawford for three. He misses again. We get a clutch rebound, and now we need to get another three. Jabari Parker hits to his corner. Bang! What a clutch three by Jabari Parker in the same spot as where D'Angelo Russell hit his three from. So now all we have to do is play this clutch defense. Chris Paul with the ball. Two seconds left. He's played Griffin. Fade away. Gets blocked by DeMarcus Cousins. And we are going into overtime. This was such a crazy game. I thought we would lose this, honestly. I thought we'd be down 3-0 and we were going to go into game number four and probably get swept. I'm not even going to lie. So now we're in overtime. We still have a chance to lose the game. But here it is. Blake Griffin draws the foul. I mean, I didn't even think that was a foul, but that was. At least it's only two fouls on Hassan Whiteside as Kobe gets the foul and the bucket to go. Kobe Bryant. He's looking a little bit like throwback Kobe in this episode. He got the M1 to go. He needs to make this free throw. If he gets this free throw, I mean, we have a three-point lead. My bad. We have a two-point lead, and it's looking good. Okay, two-point lead right here. We finally get a defensive stop. Russell from downtown. He gets that three to go. Russell has been absolutely cooking tonight. He's got 26 points, 10 to 17 shooting, as Chris Paul gets the mid-range to go, making it a three-point game. The Clippers are still not out of it. Chris Paul to Blake Griffin. I don't know how that was a foul. That was not a foul at all, but 2K. That's some Hall of Fame cheese right there. As 57 seconds left in this game. And he, Blake Griffin is making the first free throw. I mean, Blake Griffin, you need to make this free throw right here. You want your team up? Unfortunately for the Clippers, he misses that. So we are out on the break right there. Boogie gets it to Kobe. Kobe dribbling it out. And I was like, you know what? Let's not... Let's not get some fast break opportunity right here. We need to slow it down. As Kobe gets him on the crossover, he gets put in a difficult situation as Russell almost gets a foul right there, but they didn't call it. Russell putting on the moves right there. Spin move, fade away, got it! Russell, man, he has been cooking in this episode. So with four points, 35 seconds left, the Clippers need a clutch three. And this is how you know it's on Hall of Fame. How the hell did Chris Paul get this? I mean... I don't know, I guess it was like, it wasn't even that contested, but I don't think it was just going to go like that and jack it up, but we do the same thing, and ours was a three-point shot, which means that we are going to be set if we just play some good defense right here. They get a good look with Blake Griffin as he gets that shot to go. So with 24 seconds now, it's just time to play the failing game. We give it to Russell, who, <laughs> Chris Paul missed the foul at first, got him on the second attempt, and it wasn't, we weren't in the bonus yet, so now Blake Griffin had to foul. So Russell misses the first free throw. Come on, now, this is some Hall of Fame cheese. How am I going to miss when he's been nailing threes and getting mid-range fadeaways to go? And I miss a damn free throw. 17 seconds left, four-point lead. We need to just play this defense. Chris Paul getting a pretty good look right here. Gets denied by Russell. And then we got... I thought he was going to take that three right there. That is young. Couldn't even get a shot off. We couldn't even get a rebound. JJ Reddy got a rebound over, you know, Boogie Cousins. But in the end, it wasn't enough time for the Clippers. And we take game number three. So we pretty much eliminate a 3-0 lead to the Clippers, which we needed to do so. I mean, in order for us... If we're, in order for us to have any chance in competing up against the Clippers, we needed to do some work in this episode. And Russell absolutely killed it. He really had a great game with 32 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds, 2 blocks. 
I mean, this man just didn't miss today. So it was a crazy game by D'Angelo Russell. I mean, Hassan Whiteside didn't have the greatest offensive game. And for the Clippers, Chris Paul dropped 21 and 9. Blake Griffin dropped 20 and 11. Um, I thought DeAndre, I mean, he played really well getting 17 rebounds. And so now we actually head into game four. And this was a blowout. We took game four as well. So now the series is tied 2-2. Two to two. Going, I mean, we, we don't go anywhere. We're still at Staples Center. It's just a matter of who has the home home crowd. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Series is tied 2-2. If you guys want to see the next episode, leave a like on this video. Let's see if we can reach 500 likes for the next episode. I'm out. Peace.